Let's do a story. Mrs. McNosh and the Great Big Squash. It's written by Sarah Weeks. Pictures by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Wonder if it's a rhyming book. Mrs. McNosh and the Great Big Squash. Nosh and squash rhyme. The first day of spring, Mrs. Nellie McNosh went out to her garden and planted a squash. What do you think she needed to plant the squash? Do you have some seeds? She pushed the seed in with the tip of her toe and the minute she did it, it started to grow. Toe and grow. At first, it was round and as big as a head. In fact, it looked just like the paper boy Fred. Head, Fred. Then it turned yellow and bumpy and fat. It rolled from the garden and flattened the cat. Look at the poor cat. Fat and cat. It knocked over trash cans and ran over toes. Toes, ouch. It twisted the sprinkler and plugged up the hose. Toes, hose. It crashed through the clothesline and smashed through the fence, scaring the pants off two elderly gents. Poor Nellie was worried. She said, oh my gosh, there's got to be a way to slow down this squash. She slapped it up and scolded it, pinched it and kicked it. And then she took hold of its stem and she picked it. Now what do I do? wondered Mrs. McNosh. I've got to find something to do with the squash. There isn't a place in the world it will fit. It's big as a house. Wait, said Nellie. That's it. Fit it. What do you think's it? What did she say? Hmm. And so by the light of the big yellow moon, she scooped and she scraped with a long handled Spoon, moon, spoon. And then when the sun rose, where was Mrs. McNosh? Where do you think she was? Curled up, sound asleep. in her big yellow squash. What did she turn it into? A house. Thanks for listening with me today.